Hello Internet, this is GeoDroid John again. I'm back, I got the PrinterBot uh, Metal Plus Dual going again. I had to repack the linear bearings. The th there's three linear bearings on the bottom of this. I actually took them off and repacked them because I noticed when I uh, unbelted the print bed, it was still sticking. So that's not right. I mean, there's no tension on the belt at all. There should be no resistance at all. So I actually took it off, turned it to its side, took off one set at a time, literally took the bearings out and repacked them and put some grease in there. I used some three all-in-one silicone lubricant because I was having problems. You can see this down here. Come on, focus for me, buddy. Down here, you can see where it's like offset and I couldn't figure out what the problem was. The belts were tight. The belt is a little older. It's an older belt. You can kind of see some cracking there because it was just one I had in storage. My last one broke by my fault. So I've been screwing around with that. And then I went off and cleaned the Z-Rods and tightened all the bolts up. I lubricated those with silicone grease, cleaned all the rods. I put some masking tape up there. Maybe that keeps wiggle from happening. Went back and retightened all the couplers. And I'm getting pretty decent Z. Uh, this machine's infamous for not having great Z. Uh, height or Z wobble issues. These are some prints, some test prints I made in different axis. So like one was at X, one was at Y, one was at half. And I printed them like that and they look really, really good actually. So let me take those down. So yeah, let's do So yeah, uh, the uh, printer bot is, I'd say it's 85% up and running. The rest is just aesthetic. I printed out those stabilizing feet so that it would stay more uh, stable. I want to improve that drag chain right there. Anybody out there in CNC wants to give me good advice on how to do that. Uh, I obviously, I want the chain to go up to here and then down to there, but I don't think the cables are actually long enough to do that. So if anybody out there in CNC knows how to organize that so I can use the length of the cables that already exist without creating new ones but still be able to go all the way down to this corner. Let me know. I'm interested. Maybe a spring holding the cable and as it stretches the spring will extend not to put too much pressure on it. I will add a stick out here so that it roams freely directly behind the printer rather than coming in towards this side. So the, rep, uh, the printer bot is doing a great job and um, I'm really appreciating this machine. The next project I have is this beautiful Delta over here that's actually working right now. And that will be in my very next video. I'll probably upload right next to this. All right, guys, have a great day.